Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another custom RPK. It is no secret that the RPK AK series of weapons is some of my favorite in the world. Um, and therefore I do quite a few different custom uh, models of RPKs and AKs of kind of like real steel things that I would love to see. Um, and this is one of them. This is the RPK Silverfish is the name that I've given it. Like a code name or just like a name in general that um, it could be used to distinguish it between other things. This actually started life as a Black Ops 1 version of an RPK. You can see that with a difference in handguard, the carry handle attached to the side over here and the rear sight arrangement that is set up here. Um, and from there, I have added on quite a few other things. So a little bit of the head cannon behind this actual model itself and uh, kind of my thought process and idea behind this. Um, is that this is an RPK that has been uh, kind of fitted with a, a quote-unquote bullet acceleration module, uh, which I believe is a really fancy word for railgun. <laughs> um, essentially, what we have here is a power battery up here. Uh, quote-unquote, in the near future, this is going to be strong enough to do this um, using like superconductive magnets and so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. Um, which is currently powering this entire attached weapon system that you see going on through here. So we have uh, the battery, which goes into a larger heat sink here. Um, this is the portion that actually houses the magnets. Um, so as the bullet is traveling down the barrel down here, uh, the magnets are kind of going along in a row up here. I have included these kind of bar pieces that you can see here, these trans bar pieces. Um, and the kind of idea is as the bullet kind of flies down the barrel, these would light up one by one as the bullet hits it. Um, so it would just animated uh, in an anime style or in a movie, this would add a, a nice visual pop for some of the audience. So that's kind of the design that I have going on up here. Um, all else equal, ignore the fact that having the magnets placed up here and not centered around the barrel would affect accuracy drastically, but just kind of, you know, ignore that just kind of have fun with the concept and the look of everything um, it also includes a counterbalance recoil system which is what this portion um, in front of the gas block is um, i have by the way kept the gas block and everything because the original propellant of the bullet uh, will still be black or smokeless powder um, it will just be accelerated faster out of the barrel using the magnetic system so um, as the magnets kind of trigger this point here, um, it will also set off a counter recoil system where a kind of tungsten weight inside of this tube will come back forward the other way, counteracting the recoil system. Um, just basically the same thing that the AK-107, AK-108 systems of rifles do um, here. So. That's kind of what's going on here. I have beefed up, therefore, the actual dust cover using this portion here, um, and then added a little bit of a kind of cooling feature um, over this dust cover to keep the chamber cool um, from explosion, if you will. <laughs> so that's what's going on with the kind of add-on to the RPK itself. I think it gives it a pretty beefy look, kind of futuristic look. Uh, I have gone with a translucent built magazine. This is a almost entirely legal translucent magazine. It is double stacked, but it is double stacked flat and not um, as perfect as I would like it to be. I've actually improved upon this design most recently um, in a, a 94 model that I have been working on. But this is the studio rendering inside of Studio 2.0 by Bricklink. And this is what it actually looks like inside of LDD. Um, so we are going to ignore a lot of the base RPK as we've already taken a look at the RPK from Black Ops 1, I believe. Let me actually take a look here at what we have left. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have already taken a look at the Black Ops 1 RPK. Um, so we're going to ignore a lot of its base features and just talk about what we've added on. So what we have down here is a curved magazine. Uh, with double stack AK bullets. These are really basic AK bullets. Like I said, I have improved upon this design pretty drastically um, as of late. Um, 
so that these are not just kind of plain like these are, as you can see. Um, these uses transparent door pieces to allow for bullets to be side by side with one another, but as you can see, they are not um, double stacked like they should be. It's more like they're just side by side, so it kind of gives it a little bit of a weird look. Um, you can barely even see it in the actual rendered image um, because of how dark this trans uh, blue has actually come out to be, at least in that image. Uh, this feeds up into the receiver. Like I said, there is this integrated cooling system up and over the dust cover um, that is currently kind of hooked up into the kind of Tronian-esque area uh, of the weapon using these octagonal tubes uh, just to give it a little bit of a neater look. Um, not too sure what the actual coolant would be, but I figured it would kind of pump into this hollow form that goes above the actual dust cover um, and form kind of like a heat sink almost like a water jacket on a light machine gun. Um, kind of weird that it would be over the dust cover but kind of bear with me for shits and giggles I think it looks cool so we're gonna keep it. There's a regular heat sink uh, kind of in this area in the form of just like a whole bunch of radiators if you will. Uh, we have the my different username designed futuristic red dot sight uh, mounted up here. Um, there is still a rear sight. There is still a front sight, but they are currently unusable um, based on oh geez, uh, the additions to the system, as you can see. Um, part of the heatsink portion that we have going on up here is another portion of octagonal tubing um, to kind of form. So like as uh, this kind of whatever coolant goes inside of here heats up, it kind of comes up here and flows into this portion of the tubing and then is let off via this heat sink right here. This battery is designed to be changed out in the field. Um, so not only would you have to change magazine, but you would also have to change batteries. Um, kind of like AE4 uh, vibes from Advanced Warfare, if you will. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like the magnetic portion of the weapon itself. I have included these translucent bar pieces just to kind of uh, show off a little bit of like on-screen moving magic, if you will, or animation magic where they would light up as the bullet comes down the barrel. Um, and I have included uh, these lattice pieces in here as well, um, just for fun. Uh, here is the counterbalance recoil system up front using more of those octagonal pieces. Um, and then this kind of clamps into the front of the barrel with a uh, bipod mounts into place nearest the front sight to kind of make it more rigid in total. I have decided to keep the actual carry handle itself because I figured with the addition of this new railgun-esk piece going on here, uh, counter recoil system and the actual uh, cooling jacket and everything back here that it would be pretty heavy to carry this around. Uh, and the addition of a carry handle would be pretty nice. That is pretty much it for the RPK Silverfish uh, Complete Version 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. I will see you guys later in another video another time.